Whoosh. Very frantic. Crikey, I think this will be the last one for today. That was, uh, yeah, quite frantic in the beginning. I don't think we were... I think the opponent let their advantage go, if I remember correctly. I think we were on a loser, big style. Just get to the... Yeah, so I think they did really quite well here. I was getting a bit squished. And I wasn't too sure what to do, but took my time. Tried to remember what we were trying to practice, which was the tunnel vision thing. Make the tunnel vision thing two or three tunnel visions rather than one. So I think it was at this point where I was like, okay, my tunnel vision is, I'm thinking he's getting this pawn with his queen, but do I really need to lose any sleep over that? Is there a better position for me? So we put a check on the king just to give him something to think about and then looking to take the bishop again. So that was like tunnel vision three rather than focusing on this pawn. I couldn't do anything to defend the pawn and I would have really messed up my, my position. It's still showing minus 0.7 for the opponent. So they were winning in this sense, but I felt com more comfortable having maybe done something a little bit more proactive Okay, so the queen goes back and we develop the knight and we just uh, defend the pawn still showing minus 0 0.4 so it's not any great shakes whatsoever and I'm sure we messed up somewhere around about after this pawn takes yeah so we take the pawn I didn't think I really needed to take the pawn you know I think yeah I've probably I was thinking of just pushing it up but I thought well I need to give my pieces some air you know, so I can attack something. So that's why I actually took it off the board. Uh, but then their rook move. Again, this was a tunnel vision thing, and I thought, okay, don't tunnel vision it too much. His bishop's not got a check on our king anywhere. Can we do something more proactive? Now, I wonder if this is the move I'm really questioning. Was it any good? Oof, look at that drop. <laughs> I thought it would say that. Yeah, I thought it would say that. Damn. Rook A C one, so the rook coming here instead, putting the pressure on the queen. Yeah, well I was again tunnel vision that it was actually going to be <coughs> putting the next rear through. Uh, so I thought oh, well, I'm gonna move the queen. So the computer thinks that's not a very good move, but I thought it was alright. I don't think it was bad. I I'm gonna challenge it. I know it dropped massively. It dropped four points, didn't it? <laughs> so have to put some consideration into it but still it doesn't look that bad to me and the capture so we capture we'll get the queen off the board but the computer's saying it's better for black and we're looking to exchange I mean at this point I don't, I don't feel like it was losing per se I think the opponent this was the point I think this is a point somewhere where I think they gave it up whereas I thought in my head well I think they've given it up now I think it was when I took his queen actually. That's when I thought they'd actually given it up, gave it up, but it's still minus one. So that's where I thought they'd give it up because basically I'm owning the file with the rook now in my head. So just jostling with the knight now, I'm thinking, well, is he going to come down here to attack this pawn? And um, that could be a, something that they could consider, but I think humans would want to double the pawns you know that side type of thing so that's what they actually did so I felt fairly comfortable with that and then now we can bring our rook here attacking so if he did come down and attack the pawn then we'll be able to take his pawn first so I thought maybe this rook move might have been better for them not a winning thing but more a better position for them and then I don't know do you know what I well it's got his bishop protecting but at the same token it's not really I think in my head they must have thought well bishops are better than knights in the end game and you, you hear people say that all the time the bishops are better than the knights so I think they probably went with that theory but looking positionally I felt really quite happy because I am a knight man I favour both now but I was more a knight man than a bishop man in the past so I do kind of know how to mobilise the knights this poor bishop hasn't got anything to sorry pawn pawn hasn't got anything protecting it 
and it's on a white square and it's got a dark square bishop so that can potentially disappear and this pawn here we do have a tempo but actually putting a check on the king and being able to come back and defend the pawn so I thought well we'll utilize that so it did feel fairly good for us I mean we are attacking this pawn here as well king comes down and we can just push up I don't think I mean it's shame we're winning here uh, I did think okay well maybe he's gonna get his king across and be able to take the pawn off the board and this was where I think they made a bit of a boob for personally I don't know I want to check it now so we pushed yeah so it's dropped so I thought he was then going to just move his king here you know to stop the pawn from going any further up so it's saying we would take the pawn here and then we've got two linked pawns that they've got to contend with so that's what I thought they would have done still showing that we're winning plus 0 0.13 so it's dropped from plus 0.5 uh, five. so what's it it's actually suggesting as a move a4 so getting this pawn further up because the knight's protecting this square at the moment and the king can't get to here and it can't get to there at the moment to get the pawn so I think I was a bit previous with pushing the pawn here and I did realise that when I did it but I thought oh look, let's just get them distracted but I think future tense just take a little bit more time okay right so we pushed but they didn't do that so obviously we could keep pushing and then get the bishop off the board and then the knights hunky dory but they resigned at that point so yeah another interesting game trying to utilize the concepts of um, doubling or tripling the tunnel vision a little bit and just to try and get those better positions because it's so annoying when you look at your evaluation after your game and you go oh it's right there on a plate for you why do you have to work so hard so utilizing the, the whole of the answer process finding the weaknesses in my um, game and just constantly trying to improve it a little bit at a time 